do a little giveaway bag, you know, to you guys if you subscribe and like and uh, towards the end if you're still around, you know, I can do a little drawing or send you guys a little goodie bag, you know, just shipping in beer. Let's see how much the beer is. It's 12 and 12. So thankfully we got some beer. Uh, we're set for the day. So yeah, we were just walking over there. We're at the base of Laracos now. The 450s are coming up in 10 minutes. Yeah, guys, look at this. Look at all the campers. Camping is sold out. So yeah, guys, here behind the grandstands, the bleachers of Laraco's Leap right now, and actually it just got a whole lot more quiet. Thanks again. Be sure you like the video so other people that like Moto get this behind-the-scenes access. I'll be going around all day because I know I would love to see this type of stuff before the uh, Moto is always why I've been watching it the past weekend. So I'll be going around all day, and like I said, the connection might be spotty, so I'll be trying to reconnect. It might be weird, but, but ooh, okay. This is the turn going up to Laraco's. Let's check out the ruts that are forming. Yeah, guys, this is the base of Laracos right now. Here are the grandstands. And then right up the fence, this is the launch of Laracos. Look how steep that is. These riders, when they're going up it, all they see is just a wall. A wall and sky. It's just looking at the wall, and then you just see the sky. It's like, look at that. It is insane. I've ridden on this track. I've never carried, you know, just double dip. Like, being a local and grew up, looks like we got track crew clearing out the breeze. What is that? little string but yeah we are just on that other side so yeah it looks like the 450s are coming up next we'll see if anyone uh, hits the leap and before in previous years they had that they had it kind of turned out there and then coming in you know between the 90 degree or 180 degree turn but I kind of like this setup how they have it now there's some ruts on that inside with that tabletop as well And then so here's the base, the landing of Laracos. And then going up into the finish. So yeah guys, the 250 class just finished practice. The 450s are up next, so we're gonna stay here, see if anyone sends the leap and hits it. Everyone is pouring in. Camping is sold out for the weekend. Look how many campers there are. It is a sea of campers. It is going to be a party. Yeah, tonight we'll get more footage. We'll be uh, going to the night races, the night race track, which you can see over there. So yeah, I'll be covering that. We'll be, you know, partying. We'll be getting some funny videos. We'll be getting riding videos. We're trying to get, get everything. So be sure you stay tuned, like the video, subscribe. So other people that want to see this behind the scenes access can see it. Happy 4th of July weekend to everyone in the state. Happy if there are any holidays to anyone else that is watching from overseas and good day made again from Australia. Thank you for tuning in. I know it is getting late there. And yeah, my mom's currently uh, in Australia near Melbourne. There's a 100% on track vehicle. Let's see, I'm gonna step up to the top of the bleachers real quick and get a uh, view so you guys can take a look at this, especially with my height. I'll be able to see over everyone. So then you guys can see, we'll go to the very top step. Is it, is it okay if I move this for a sec? I just lost it. Thank you. All right, guys, so we are at the top step. This is Morocco's leap to take off for it. There's the base of the launch pad over there. And I'll be walking around showing you guys different track views all day. So be sure to stay tuned, like the video. And if you see the stream, come say hi as well. There's the finish line, but here's the base and landing of Laracos. It is a beautiful day. And look at look at this view guys up here. This is probably the highest point, the highest view on the bleachers.